This is the Jurassic Slag. I just finished her. Him. It. It is done. And it is fully scalloped. And I will never do that on an ebony fretboard again. <laughs> uh, it might be one of the, if not the, easiest guitar to play I have ever played. Even with the scallops. The setup is practically perfect. The action is nice, low, comfortable. Got uh, 9.5 to 46 gauge strings. It's an antler nut that I have also scalloped. And uh, it's a real little beastie. <laughs> It's like a high wire rack. Interesting thing is I don't even know what I'm playing right now. Except I know this has a hell of a noise gate on it. Uh, and the high wire act is going to get some uh, takes some getting used to. <laughs> so uh, right, let's see. Gotta say, it's always nice when a new guitar gets born. It would have been nicer if it was born an hour ago, but uh, que sera, sera, you can't have it all, right? Well, let's uh, put it on a classic uh, lead tone. Of Too much fun with this. Play 
so nice, I slipped right off the fretboard. It's alive. In fact, it's also so new, I don't know where the cavity is, uh, cavity cover-wise, because it's in my shop, and I probably have to make another one. Also, this thing's about four pounds, at most. It's great. Uh, it's a basswood body. No, is it? I think it's probably a poplar body. I did make a basswood body. It might be the basswood body. Uh, this is a bloodwood. Is it? Fairly certain. Uh, bloodwood, uh, neck reinforcement strips. We've got uh, uh, cherry as well. It's a Gaboon Ebony fretboard. Uh, very happy. Holy crap. This is, uh, this is going to be fun. I haven't built a guitar in over a year. Finished one, at least. And this one, heck, I even started it last year. Maybe it's about time I start doing it again. Good night.